everyone, thanks so much for joining me for my September haul and favorites. We have a lot to get through. I did a lot of shopping this month, so we're gonna get started. Let's start off with the Hourglass palette. It is their Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. It has six colors in this palette. There are two finishing powders, one bronzer, two blushes, and a highlight. I am going to do an in-depth video on this. In fact, I have all six colors on right now, including on my eyes. So if you'd like to see that video, that one is coming next week. I'll talk about this in comparison to some of the other colors I have too, to help you make a decision about if you want this or not. But spoiler alert, I love this palette. It really does have a nice warmth to each of the colors, which is really great for tan skin. So if you are similar in coloring to me, I wouldn't wait for my little review. I would just go get it if you were thinking about it. Next up, we've got Charlotte Tilbury. I picked up her Pillow Talk. It was like a um, collection of her Pillow Talk items and I think it's sold out. I'm gonna try and find out when it's coming back. I heard some other random dates, but I'm not sure. So I'd like to find out for sure and leave you the information below if you're interested. So there is a Cheek to Chic blusher. There is a an eyeshadow palette. And there's also the lipstick and uh, the lip liner. Now, surprisingly enough, I don't think I've ever tried this color, uh, but I love it. And I also love these. These are just nice for a monochrome kind of look. I don't think I have anything that achieves that that's all coordinated. So I really love it for that. And these two shadows right here are nice and muted and subtle. I really like this. So again, if you were thinking about these, I love these two. I will do a video on those. I did have someone ask me specifically if this was deep enough for deeper tanner skin and it is. It's very pigmented and a little goes a long way just like any of her other blushes if you've tried them before. Charlotte Tilbury is just coming out with so many things that I think she does really well, which is makeup. So a few of the things I've tried in the past from hers, which were more skincare, were the things that were misses for me. So when I stick to makeup from her, I'm really, really happy. So I did pick up these Magic Away liquid concealers. At first they didn't look that exciting to me, uh, but I watched Lily Pebbles. If any of you watch her, I think that's still her handle. It's like Lily, I think it's Lily Pebbles. She's in the UK. In fact, I think I didn't realize this, but I subscribe to very few channels, but the ones that I subscribe to, they're located in the United Kingdom. So I don't know. I think they're a little bit more calm. Many of you have mentioned that you like the tone of my videos because I'm pretty calm, if not, I think subdued. Uh, but I like them because I think they're calm. They're pretty drama free for the most part. So if you're looking for someone else calm to, to watch, I recommend her. Um, yeah, it's Lily Pebbles. She was using this and what she mentioned that caught my eye or caught my ear actually was that it was lightweight yet very, um, very good coverage. So that's what I've been looking for. And there goes the sun. Well, we're just gonna keep going because if I wait, it's doing this all day. What intrigued me about it was that it was thinner and lightweight yet really great coverage because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for good coverage, but without the layers. So I'm trying these out. Now, I got number seven and number eight. So seven is medium and then eight is medium. Okay, why do they both say medium? Well, they do. And <laughs> one is seven and one is eight. I got seven for under the eyes and eight for my darker areas. Now, so far, I've been using them for about a week. The eyes, I am getting some creasing, um, and this is really great for dark areas because of the peach, and here comes the sun. This is really great for dark areas because of that peach tone to them. So if you have that problem, this is a really good one, and I am amazed. I go in with like a couple, like one, and then another, and then that's really all I need, and if you know my issue with the dark spots, then you know that's pretty good, that I don't have to work for hours and hours and hours not hours, but it takes a long time. I don't really like the messiness of it, and I think a lot of people have said that too, but I do understand that it does distribute the product really evenly and, and really well on the skin with the type of applicator. So it's kind of a trade-off. I don't think I'd wanna apply this with anything else except for what they've designed here, so. Only other thing too is it's been really, really humid and it's not performing well in the humidity. So I think that when it gets cooler and not as 
and it gets a little bit drier, this will be really great. But still the Tom Ford foundation slash concealer with a little bit of um, the Urban Decay color corrector is working the best still in the humidity. But if I don't go outside, this works really beautifully on those darker areas and it's, again, it's like Lily Pebble said, it's a really thin layer, but good coverage. So if you're interested, right now I'm liking it more for those areas of my face rather than under the eyes. I'm still really happy with the Clay de Peau for under the eye area, even though I got a bit of minor creasing, it's, it's really minor. A couple of eyeshadow sticks that I picked up, Laura Mercier, if you saw the eyeshadow stick video I posted last week, I talked about both of these, Moonlight and Coco, and I have Moonlight in the waterline right now, so if you like the look of copper in the waterline and you want something else, a little bit more neutral, not as warm or bright, um, Moonlight is beautiful. Oh, so, gosh, what is your, let me look up your name so I can make sure I give you credit. Let's see, oh, Kelly, Kelly, thank you so much, she was, paying attention, <laughs> she noticed that I mentioned I was looking at the Surratt eyelash curler compared to the Shuomura, and she actually sent me these snapshots of what it looked like. She sent them to me on Instagram. She actually compared both the eyelash curlers for me. She showed them side by side and at different angles and now how they crimped paper and that this one opens much wider than the Shuomura one. So thank you, Kelly. I said she should make her own video on this because it was really, really informative. Um, and she also shares other things. She shared something on the eyeshadow video um, about a deal she had found if you want to try Laura Mercier. So thank you so much for contributing. I appreciate all of the things that I learned from you as well, especially if it's something that I'm interested or had a question about. So thank you so much for taking the time to do that. It was, it was really, Amazing, thank you. So I did pick up the Surratt one and I like it so far. It's way easier for me to manipulate. I'm so sorry about this cloud cover. I don't know what's happening. It's way easier to manipulate than the Shuomura one for me. Like I have these lashes on the side. I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes I just, I can't grab them and they're facing down and whatever I do, I can't get to them. But this, I can at least turn it and grab those lashes on the end. So I, it still doesn't curve to the, roundness of my eye, if that makes sense. It's still a little bit more flat than my eye, but I'm able to turn it like this and get all the lashes. So I really, I prefer this one to the Shuomura. Shuomura is a good one, but for my eye shape, this is much better. Oh, I picked up this because I ran out of my Marc Jacobs gloss that I love so much, 318 I think is one pretty thing. So I picked up this because it had such high rating. It's the long comb in 202 and it's good, it's just a little stickier. I think after I'm done this, I'll go back to the Marc Jacobs one, but I have it on right now um, with another favorite, which is not new. It's uh, by NARS, it's Get It On. It's their, why are these so small? Power Matte Lip Pigment. And I've been wearing this one a lot this month and I have these two products on, so I thought I'd just mention them, but these two products are the ones I have on not new, new, but still favorites. I thought I would just take a moment to update you on SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I think I bought this a couple months ago and look, not much has run out and I use it twice a day too, so it lasts a really long time. And I do notice a difference in my skin with this, so someone was waiting to get some feedback on this and I have to unfortunately tell you it is worth the price. It is very expensive. So if you were thinking about this, it's an investment in your skin. It gives a nice plumpness to it. In fact, one of the reasons I was really interested in is because my sister, I don't think she had any makeup on, but I was like, your skin looks really good. She said, it's SK2. So I thought, oh, well then I should try it. So happy with that. And it seems to last a long, 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 long time. So if you were thinking about it, I do recommend it. I also picked up another Genius Liquid Collagen. So this is one of those other things where I wish I didn't like it because it is on the pricier side. It's over $100 for a bottle, but it's one of those things that if I stop using it, then my skin goes back to being a little bit more dry and um, more texture on it. So these are probably two of the things that I would be very hesitant to give up in my routine, even though they cost more they give me results. More for skincare, I picked up the Color Science Total Eye 3-in-1 Renewal Therapy 
SPF 35. I think I talked about how I liked that the Clay de Peau concealer has SPF in it because I use it in my eye area. And I think that there aren't enough products out there that provide SPF around the eyes. And that is very, very delicate skin. And I, I have not been using SPF on it. So this one is nice because it has a bit of peach to it. It doesn't have a roller ball on it, but it has like this metal end on it and you push the end and you can see that there's a little bit of the product coming out. It's peach colored so it neutralizes any darkness and even some redness and it says it doesn't say what it does. I believe though it is deep buffing as well. Um, yeah, full of information here. But I, the reason I liked it is because I ordered the color science SPF even up. 50 and they sent a little sample in a packet and I tried it and I thought oh, I really like this so I recommend this for the eye area if you are looking for SPF for that um, and I did notice I'm getting a little brown spot like on one one of my eyelids so I think the more protection I can get from the sun the better and that is made for the eye area so if you're looking for one I would recommend it and makeup goes on it really well it doesn't interfere with application so so far so good um, more skincare, picked another one up, Extra Eye Repair Cream, Bobbi Brown, if you haven't tried it. I cannot say enough about this. I have tried other eye creams that come in little samples or, um, yeah, deluxe samples. I've even tried the La Mer one. I don't like anything else compared to this so far, so, yeah, bought another one. It was on that Sephora promotion, so I went back another time after the first time I, I did a little Sephora haul, I went back and got some more items, which a lot of these came from. Another favorite, Charlotte Tilbury, Hollywood Lips Dangerous Liaison. It's a reddish color. It's not totally red, so if red is too bright for you, but you want that idea of red, this is a really great one. It's more of a rosy color, um, but it looks, it looks red on me. Uh, I really like this one for the fall, so if you're looking for one, recommend this one. Yeah, again, Charlotte Tilbury does makeup really, really, really well. You know, I noticed when I stopped using this, again, that whole idea of when I stop using a product, I noticed something's off with my skin. This was one of them. It's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, so I picked up another one because I missed it, and I noticed it really does make a difference in making my skin look more refreshed after I use it, I got it in a like a little box set and I like those because it was the same price as this and then you got two other things. So the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. Um, I haven't used it yet. I have been using this, however, the other item that came in, that it's the Advanced Night Repair Eye and I use that on my eyes at night. So I actually do a few things. I use the Peter Thomas Roth vitamin C one, then I'll put this one on, then I will put on the Bobbi Brown cream, just kind of to seal it all in. Speaking of Peter Thomas Roth, I was using the Sunday Riley CEO uh, vitamin C serum, and someone said they didn't get a result from that as much as they did from this, the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Serum. And it came, and I double checked, oh, did I forget the other thing? Well, I'll show you the whole set, but it came with this, and then there was like a scrub with it, and then this as well. Um, so one's a cleanser. It's anti-aging cleansing gel, although it says it's an anti-wrinkle. See, when it comes to cleansing things, I don't know how much power they have because they're on your face for such a small amount of time, but I'll try it. Um, but it says it it's anti-wrinkle technology helps visibly brighten with glycolic acid, salicylic, salicylic acid, citric acid, extracts of peach, white oak, bark, lemon, lime, linden, grapefruit, and something else. Arginine? Arginine? I'll give it a try. Um, but I like my cleansers to be more gentle because, yeah, I just prefer my cleansers to be really basic. Uh, but I will try that. And then it's the Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Moisturizer. I've kind of tried this out a little bit just to put over my moisturizers at night just as another layer. It's nice, um, but we will see. Although this seems to be doing a nice job. In fact, I've been using that in tandem with the Spot product that they have, and it seems like my darker spots are getting lighter so they're not as dark and this also seems to be working really well although i have to say i don't know if it's in combination with this these two let me know if you have the same problem but 
the first couple times I wore this, my husband's like, are you making bacon? And I said, what are you talking about? He's like, something smells like bacon. So the next few times I wore it, it's usually in the morning. He's like, there's that bacon smell again. So I think it's these two or maybe even this. Let me know if you tried this and you're getting like a bacon smell, but these two together definitely make a bacon smell. So I kind of smell it all day, just faintly. So if that's gonna bother you, then maybe you don't want this, but I'm willing to just use it because if it is that good on my skin, then that's fine. I'll smell like bacon. Okay, for my fashion favorite. Now this is not new. So it's like an old favorite. I've had it for a couple years now, at least a couple years. And I did purchase it full price because I want, I thought it would be something that would last a long time and be kind of timeless. And I'm so glad I did because I do use them year in and year out and I'm excited that now it's officially fall. It does not feel like fall here, but if you are in a place where it feels like fall and you're looking for one investment boot this season, I would go with these and I hope they're still available. They've got to still be available. So they are by Stuart Weitzman and I put them back in the box and they're all protected over the summer. They are the Highland boots and these are in the color Londra, Londra, Londra. So they're like a warm gray. I mean, you can see that I like gray anyway, but these are warm gray and the heel is not that high. Now, I wouldn't wear these in the snow or the rain, but if you are in a cooler climate, like for us it gets cool, but it never gets like really wet. It's very dry kind of cold winter. Um, so these are perfect for my climate. And if you notice they're like suede or some kind of, not suede, they're like a satin inside. So it makes putting them on and off easier. And then if you do want to just put them over denim or something, then you can fold them down like this and then you just pull them up like that. And I have fairly thinner type thighs, so this is not a problem for me. And my legs are longer than typical, I think. And these hit at a really nice spot. They don't look too long on me, so I will show you a full length of these, but I like them because I first ordered the black ones, like they were black leather. They were not the look I was going for, the black leather. So I returned those and then I got these and these are much more of my style, more relaxed and not as formal, um, but they give a really nice sleek look. I know that the boots this season seem to be more baggy in the leg, but I don't, I don't prefer those on me. Um, so I still will wear these this year and over and over. So this will be like third season I'm using them. So again, it goes back to the idea of investing in things that last a long time. And I'm so glad I have those. I will wear them over and over and over this winter and I think I certainly get my money's worth out of them. So I think that is it for my haul and favorites. I will go into a clothing favorites and I'm thinking about breaking it up into um, designers because there are a few designers that I are like go-tos. I know they fit, I know the quality is great every time and very rarely a fail. So like this, for instance, one of them I will feature probably is equipment. So this blouse is by equipment and it's just one of their long sleeve. It's the one without the pockets. Now I think I prefer that, the ones with no pockets to the ones with pockets. I have a couple with pockets, but everything I buy from equipment fits really well and lasts a long time. Um, so I will be talking about that in the future. So let me know if you think that's the best way to go about it. But I think if I just talk about my favorite designers and what I have by them, because I've had things by my favorite designers for years, and that is where I find when I invest, the money goes a long way in terms of getting a use per wear. So I think that's it. Oh, I also forgot. <laughs> I also purchased the Charlotte Tilbury palette, the eyeshadow palette, and that is coming in the mail. So if I get it before this video goes up, I will insert a clip here. And of course I will feature it as well. And I think that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks. 
It has six limited edition colors in this palette. There are two finishing powders. Where are they? <laughs> spoiler alert. So, spoiler alert. Sp I picked up the Potency Power Eye Cream because of the, um, I talked about this, Never mind. I talked about that one already. 